Hi, this is Peter Satinsky, and I'm here to demo Trisbox. Trisbox is a Dropbox client for the TRS-80 microcomputer. It allows you to manage and copy files to and from uh, your Dropbox from your TRS-80. Uh, it really is an easy way to manage the files on your TRS-80. Uh, Trisbox requires either a TRS-80 Model 1 with the Model 1 system expander or a TRS-80 Model 3 or 4 with the Model 3 system expander. It also requires a broadband internet connection and a Dropbox account. So to start using Trisbox, you simply click on the Get Started Here link on the Trisbox website. You'll be redirected to Dropbox and you'll be asked to log in with your Dropbox credentials. Now this login page is hosted by Dropbox, so that means Trisbox will never have access to your Dropbox credentials. And Trisbox will also only be given access to its own folder in your Dropbox. It will not have access to any of your other Dropbox files. This is all achieved using the official Dropbox API. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. And once Dropbox authenticates you, you'll be redirected back to the Trisbox site where Trisbox will create a security token for you. And you will go ahead and then plug that security token into the Trisbox tools on your TRS-80. At this point, you can also download the TRS-80 commands and simply upload them to your TRS-80 using the MIS or the M3 SE FTPD service. Okay, so we're going to jump over to the TRS-80 now. This is a Model 4D with the M3 SE, the Model 3 system expander. Uh, just a brief overview of this uh, wonderful piece of hardware. It's uh, created by Peter Bartlett. Uh, it provides a Ethernet port solid state hard drive support using CF cards, uh, provides a VGA output, a joystick port, among some other features. It's a really cool piece of hardware. You can find out more at bartlettlabs.com. Okay. So the first thing we want to do, we already have the Trisbox tools installed in this machine. We're going to type DB setup. and provide the authentication token that we uh, received from Dropbox. So that's P K C seven nine X J T four K J T four K. Trisbox is ready. So this tells us that Communication between the Trisbox tools and the Trisbox proxy server and from the proxy server to Dropbox uh, have all been configured and set up and everything's ready to go. So some of the commands that we can uh, execute now are, for instance, dbdir, which gives us a directory listing of our uh, Trisbox Dropbox folder. Works very similar to the dir command in LDOS. Uh, you can see we have files and folders. Uh, the uh, files are annotated with an F and the folders are with a D for directory. Files also have the size and also the latest modification date and time of the file within Dropbox. We'll jump back over to the Mac here and um, we go to the Trisbox folder in my Dropbox, and you can see we see the exact same files and folders here. Okay. So what else can we do? So we can view the contents of folders. We can change folders. So I'll say dbcd. We'll go to getter. Getter pillar. Yeah, we're in a category folder, we'll do dbdir. OK, 
Caterpillar, one of my favorite games for the TRS-80. It's a uh, centipede clone, essentially. So we want to play Caterpillar. So we're going to use the dbget command, which will retrieve a file from Dropbox and copy it onto our TRS-80. So we're going to use Cater three plus three c d I'm gonna copy it to cat let's call it catter cmd on our number two drive and Tristbox is copying the file from Dropbox to our TRS80. Here we go. So now we can run caterpillar. There we go, caterpillar. Fun times. Okay, just gonna reset the machine. Now, if you restart the machine, turn it off, turn it back on, or just reset, uh, Tristbox will remember where you were. So if I type DWPWD, that'll show us our current working um, Tristbox folder. You can see we're still in the Caterpillar directory, okay? So let's go to another folder. Let's go to, uh, let's go back to the root Tristbox folder by typing dbcd slash. Let's go dbcd test folder. We're in the test folder and we'll just see if there's anything in here. No files in folder, okay. So now we wanna copy files from our TRS-80 to our Dropbox. So there's a command for that, it's called dbput. And we're gonna copy Caterpillar back Catter.cmd, and I'm going to copy it to, let's call it cat test cmd in our test folder. Okay. And Tristbox is now copying the Caterpillar application back to the Dropbox. Okay. We'll jump over to our Dropbox on our Mac to verify that. Go to our test folder. And there it is. Cattest.cmd. So that's the basic functionality of Tristbox at this time. You can move between folders. You can copy files from your Dropbox to your TRS-80 and you can copy files from your TRS-80 back to your Dropbox. Uh, in the future, I plan on uh, developing some more, uh, more advanced commands, such as a dbsync command, which will synchronize an entire Dropbox folder with a TRS-80 logical drive. And also to be developing uh, tools to run uh, TRS-80 applications remotely from your Dropbox, so you don't even need to copy them over. And I'd love to hear about the ideas uh, you have for uh, tools that uh, you'd like to use as well. So give it a shot and uh, let me know your experiences. Thanks. Bye.